rainbow right in front of us. We're, we're riding into a rainbow, you guys. Like, I feel like that's God saying, you made the right choice for you. So hey guys, welcome to this video. If you watched last night's video, then you know that we tried a horse. Now I tried a horse. And there were some good and there were some bad. Did you get me going on the trail ride? A little bit. A little bit. So you saw that I tried a horse. The lady was so kind because I, I could have just sat and rode in that paddock for days. It was so much fun for me. Like, I didn't want to stop. I wanted to just keep going. I kept trying new things with her. Like, every time I would try something new, she would respond differently and a lot of buying a horse is learning to ride it the way like the other lady has her way and so the horse knows that way she doesn't know my way so it, it was a bit hard it was a bit like i loved her you guys like i loved her size never felt more comfortable on a horse ever in my whole entire life even on the pasapinos and the pasapinos i feel a little bit heavier like i feel a little bit tall i loved her when stella died i didn't tell you guys this because it seems stupid but I was devastated. When I get devastated, I get like a, a, mu a mus a, I get like a mushy brain. Like my brain goes into this feeling where I can't. Like when my parents died, it was the same feeling. Like it's like something happens to my brain and I can't think properly or respond properly. It's just like this big haze over my brain. I don't know if that's normal. I think it is. But anyways, so when Stella died, and my brain was all fuzzy and it was awful. I was so sad because I didn't have a paint anymore like like that was this big thing for me is that I didn't have a paint anymore paints are my dream horse so I was really sad about that but then I felt like that's such a stupid awful mean insensitive thing to feel and think because she was so much more than just being a paint horse and, and then over time I realized like once I came back into my normal thinking like I didn't care if I ever have a paint horse again I just wanted a horse that I can connect with and that I could ride Yesterday when I was getting my boots and my helmet out of the van, I found this bumper sticker that's supposed to be on our trailer and it says paint horse and it said paint horse on it. Somebody sent it to me a long time ago and it said paint horse and when I saw it laying there, I felt like it was a sign from God and then when I picked it up, I was thinking like, yeah, like I miss having a paint horse. Like, I don't know, it sounds dumb, but for some reason, having a paint horse is really special to me. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like God always has a plan and even though we don't know what his plan is, that looking back, you can always see where he was such a huge part of it. This lady did not want to sell her horse. This horse was her horse. This horse was her bond. This horse was everything. She trusts this horse with her life. She said they are a true partnership and that's what you need when you go out riding. Like Gabby and Storm and Sophie and Finn and she didn't want to sell her and then how I found this horse was I got so tired of looking for a horse for sale that I contacted a bunch of people who had websites contacted a bunch of people who had websites most of them didn't even weren't even in business anymore and it, I just looked up gated horses and I just kept looking until I found somebody who had some for sale so and they were all old ads and so I messaged this lady and I said like do you have you know I'm interested in your blah 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 horse for sale and she said oh I don't have her anymore and I said well do you have any other horses for sale and she said she has a black Canadian horse for sale and it's green broke and I was like, no, I, don't, I need a, I want a gated horse, but thank you so much. And I just moved on. And then like a day later, she messaged me back and she said, you know, I do have a, a, I do have a gated horse and I have to sell her. I've been dreading it and I've been not planning to sell it. Like, I know I have to sell her, but I have not been wanting to sell her. And she said, you know, I would only sell her to a good home. And she was really kind of like, I'd only sell her to a really good home. This is her price. And like she was just putting it out there like like and I said okay like and then I told her all the of our stuff and she checked up on us and she checked up with her vet and she you know did all her homework to make sure we were good and then we came to visit this horse and this horse was absolutely everything that I wanted in a horse a brown and white paint she she reminds me of Stella does she remind you of Stella Gabby does she remind you of Stella no she does to you. Stella was wide. 
Stella was wider. She's not like super wide, but she feels good. Anyways, it's just amazing to me how God works in mysterious ways. And I don't know how this, where this journey is going to go, you guys. And I know there's going to be lots of crying because I'm a nervous Nelly. And there's going to be, I don't know what we're going to do with her once we get her home. But I bought a paint horse and I love riding her. And I trust her. I don't know if I trust her. I don't think she trusts me. I know she doesn't trust me. So we're going to start this new journey, you guys. Like, it's going to be a journey. But I'm excited. I'm excited. Like, when I bought the last horse, I was like, oh dear God, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to, like, learn. I'm going to have to teach this horse. But, with this horse, I feel like I'm going to have to just make her mine. Like, I'm, I'm excited. And I'm excited for where this is going to go. And I'm excited to have a paint horse. Okay, so we are headed for lunch. Supper. We're headed for supper. I'm getting a large poutine. You're getting a poutine? First stop, bathroom. Why is the women's always down at the end? I don't know. Why is the women's always down at the end? You can never resist a nice mug. Look at how nice that mug is. So pretty. Me and Gabby both want that one. You want the black one? Mm -hmm. I like that one too. But no, what does this like one do? I like Does this one do something special? I like this one and that one. I like this one. But yeah. I don't like this. I like a straw. And this one, and then that one has like the Starbucks thing. Oh, super cute. Okay, so the girls are getting Starbucks. That's really cute. So I'm giving the girls Starbucks plus their meal because they helped me today. They gave up their day to help me try a horse. I'll go anywhere to try a horse with you. If I give you Starbucks? Yeah. It is $11 for a grandpa burger. $11. Jeez. Okay, Sophie, what do you want? You want a medium poutine? Dragon fruit refresher. I want to try it. Pumpkin spice. I got caramel on mine. Did you? I'm dying I mean, not to try caramel, it. Not caramel. Um, whipped cream. Whipped cream? Oh, nice. Okay. The salted caramel macchiato is so freaking good. And Gabby got a pumpkin spice, which I love pumpkin spice. Okay, what do you want? Um, a large poutine. No, you're not getting large. I'm a medium poutine, but they look small. Yeah, but you're a small girl. So, I'm 11, I'm a big kid. You're a small kid. I'm a big kid now. When you're 18, you can have a large. I got a fruit yogurt, you guys. I got a medium poutine. I'm not even hungry, but everybody else is eating, and then I feel like, I just had an apple. I didn't know we were so close to stopping. I feel like I could run and ride my horse. Like, hope it doesn't snow for at least a month. I gotta figure out a saddle. I gotta figure out so much stuff. There she is, you guys. Little Miss Princess Penny. She's sleeping in there. Would you be sleeping? Why does he have all the windows open? It's freezing. Okay, so Sam ordered a grandpa burger meal and he didn't even get it. All he got was two burgers and the bread was moldy and a drink. No french fries. And his bread was moldy. And he didn't get any, he didn't get any french fries. He feels ripped off. I said, did you freak out? He said, no, I just ripped off the moldy part and ate the rest. And then I bought this super oh God, yummy. I got a truck that's stolen on. Uh, I bought this super yummy yogurt. Work truck. And, <coughs> and then I tried it and it's like so yuck. And then I read it and it's Greek yogurt. But I actually love Greek, Greek yogurt. Like once you take sugar out of stuff, your body gets used to it really fast. Like you get to okay. like it really fast. Ten me trying her and how like she's not even though I don't know like she still has like a lot of work like we have a lot of work together like for me to learn how to ride her and and are you saying you regret this no I'm not saying I regret it this is what I this is what I was trying to say is that she's everything that I want she she clicks all the boxes for me I felt comfortable on her I felt safe riding her I had so much fun riding her. I never wanted to stop riding her. She needs work. Like, 
we need to work together like I can't speak her language she can't speak mine we're not connected yet the other lady she does different things than I do she knows what the other lady is thinking before the other lady even does it we don't have that but she's so super safe and everything that I wanted like even though I still have to work on stuff I am excited to go home and ride her like I think that's what I'm trying to say is that that's how I knew that she was right for me and then thinking about taking her home doesn't scare me at all like having her like I'm just looking forward to all the amazing stuff the last horse that I bought I was just worried about how I was gonna get her like workable this horse I'm just worried I'm just more excited to figure her out and get her and get us connected like it's just weird I feel so at peace with this decision so I think that's how I knew she was the right horse for me hopefully God let her be the right horse for me okay you guys not only did we see a rainbow but now there are fireworks in the sky see every even the even the universe is excited that I got a horse you know what see I, it? Done? I think it's done now there they go no we're closer to the trees so it seems harder to see okay we're finally home today I got to spend so much time with guys on Instagram and Facebook and all the social medias I just was reading all your comments and stuff and I just want to say like I love you guys so much I know I've said it before but you guys make me so happy all of you guys waiting for me over on Instagram saying like when are you gonna post a video like it means so much you guys today is gonna be the first day that I and I walk my horse down yeah thanks oh no I'm walking her down Oh, Gabby, you your dog. Yeah, Gabby, go get your dogs. Okay, here. Sam's gonna open it. Guys, poor pony's down there, starving. If we do this fast, I can do it before Gabby gets here. I got her grain. She's got some grain. I got two days of grain for her. Hello. I feel bad for her. Four hours in a trailer is too much. Uh-oh. Get. The puppies are here. Melon. Yeah, We're gonna go down there and turn the light on. I know you guys can't see very good, but good ground manner so far. She's hungry. It's okay. She even walks fast. <laughs> I wanted to take her. I wanted to take her for a little walk around so that she can kind of stretch her legs a little. I'm afraid to like walk her and I'm afraid to walk her and talk because I can't stay in front of her. When I walk with one hand, it's not as good. Oh, look at this girl. I don't want to take her in yet. I want to just walk her around a little. Like, she's doing great. Tomorrow will be a whole new day, though. We didn't even figure out what stall she was going to have. So when I came in, I'm like, wait, what stall? And we decided on Chino's stall. So people, like, she's brown and white. Everybody, Gabby and Sophie think she's black and white. What color do you in guys winter, think she's? she's black and white. You think she's winter? No, she looks brown though. Look at her butt, look at her neck. But see the see around the spots? Yeah, but in winter they get darker. She's more white in winter. She's actually so much taller than I thought. Like I I wouldn't she's be just Sabrina's height. You think so? No, she's fifteen. Sabrina's fifteen three. Oh Sabrina, yeah, that's exactly what she looks. The only thing is she does have like the runny eye thing going on. I asked the lady what was wrong with her eyes and she said Aw, don't, don't love her best. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't bond with her. I did feel like when they did the ride, she liked Gabby better than all of us. Written by children now, her whole life, so. So the lady gave me her leather halter. So I'm going to, like, clean it up and 
Yes. Get a name tag for her. You want your lump, your supper? All right, let's do yeah. it. Like, who knew I'd be using my pink stuff again? I'm gonna go get her some grain. The pony's gotta come in too. Sam's down here. He's getting the ponies. Where's my bucket for water? Holy heck. I mean, this bucket is gross. I gotta clean it. Swear to God, I love pink so much. I'm excited to be using them again. I'm gonna get her some water. Ponies came, hey, so oh, there's the baby puppy. Did you feed her? No. Oh, she's probably starving. Yeah, that's what this fit is. Um, so, oh my gosh. Every time I look up, I feel like it's Stella, just a little thinner. Oh, well, I'm sure Gabby will work her magic and make her beautiful. Ah, no. uh, 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 wait, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good girl. That was not good. She was pretty good. I'll be, I'll be getting good at this. I'm excited though. Like when I brought the other horse home, I was really like, oh gosh, I don't know you guys. And then bringing her home, that's a different, different experience. And. Why my pink buckets have water in them? And the other thing is that um, I walked her around. She's a night rider. Like, she's ridden in the night. She, in her past life, she did a lot of night trails, which is fun. Like, I'm excited about that. Definitely need to work on her brakes. That's the one thing that we need to work on. All right. That's the bad thing. Well, I can't believe you brought her down without feeding her first. I don't want to be up there all alone. <laughs> you did good though. All right, where's her other bucket? Sam must have already taken it. Oh. You think I would have like been completely prepared, but I didn't want to jinx it. I wanted to just be like, if it happens, it happens. And when I was there the whole time, I never even thought if I'm gonna buy her or not until all of a sudden when I was riding her and I got the feeling in my chest and I was like, oh, I definitely want to buy her. I didn't feel any pressure from that lady. Wow. So tomorrow I'll wash her eyes and we're gonna have the vet come out. And so I can take her back. Just like with the last one, but I do not intend to. This one I plan to enjoy. Yeah. She's smaller than Stella. I wish she was a little bit huskier. Wait, I need to get some photos of her. Yeah, I just hope you don't show anybody until after I, sh after I announce her. Elizabeth. Daisy's no, like. All right, so she's got her food and Daisy's like and not another one She's got her food. We got to figure no, out tomorrow. Like, yes, another one. I get fresh poop. Yeah, more poop for me Um, so we got to figure out where we're putting her tomorrow like Sam wants to just throw her to the wolves and put the ponies all together And I'm like no, no. Kill Gracie first, then we will. Yeah, Gracie first, but we'll kill that thing. Yeah, it won't be good I I yeah. planned to put her out in the big field so that she's bordering them and Sam doesn't want to do that, but we're that's what we're gonna do. No, he doesn't agree. But she's not used to electric fence, which is super okay. scary. She said she learns fast, just put her in like, so if we put her in one of the, the other fields, if she ever got out, she'd be able to just go into the big field and it would be safe. But the problem um, is there's no ponies over there. Like I want her next to the ponies. I don't okay, want so her. first, what we should do to get her used to the electric fence is put her in one of the smaller ones. Okay. So she gets out through the gate there. Yeah. When she's in the big field and it's not that yeah. bad to worry about. Yeah. So she can get used to the electric fence. Yeah. Well, she wants the horses and goes to the other one. Yeah. She needs to learn it, but be secure. I think that's a great idea, Sophie. Good job. But anyway, it's going to be scary. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow because I checked because I don't want to be dealing with this. Is it going to be this. cold tomorrow? Uh, the same as today. I don't want to deal with all this in the cold. But she's like an easy keeper. She looks, she's, I like her weight. She doesn't like it when you touch your legs. She doesn't like it when you touch your legs? Yeah, touch your legs. Which one? Any. Not bad though. She is jumpy. She's not spooky though. No, like just walk up to her and touch it. No, I like. Would you like it if some stranger just walked up to you, Gabby? You got some chestnuts to pick. Yeah. I didn't. Uh oh, oh, watch oh, the puppy. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, I, what a good girl. Mom, you know what people do? What? They pick their horses' chestnuts and give them to their dogs. Yeah, good girl. They, they let, oh, She's wait. not a cuddly horse, but just wait. You never know what could happen because we are a cuddly family. Yeah, they also do their dogs. 
She's not a cuddly horse, but anything could happen. Like, I plan to make her love me and be my Hi. partner. She's got her supper. Hey! Come on, can we go? Just wait. I want to I wanna feel, lift up her hey. back leg and see if she lets me. Hey. Oh, good girl. Whoops, I missed it. Oh, good girl. Yeah, she does kind of let me. I don't know. Good girl, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we got saddles to try. So, hopefully, one of our Western ones will, will work for her. I don't know if I'm going to ride her right away because. Um, I don't know if I'm going to ride her right away because she had a four hour drive and that's like super a lot. But I'd love to try and just ride her around the arena, indoor or out, tomorrow afternoon. Like, Sophie and I. Gabby has plans. Like that would be fun. Or today. I guess you guys are seeing this today. Like, I want to ride her a little bit later today. But I don't know. Like, what do you guys think of her? She's girthy. So she's girthy and her brakes are not great. <laughs> when she's doing something that she likes. Like going for a trail. So we're going to work on the brakes. Brennan's going to help me. And we're, I'm going to give her some omeprazole. Because anytime a horse suffers like... A lot of stress. Wait, is Dad down here still? Yeah. Right, because I don't want to be by myself. All right. I maybe just put some more shavings in here for her. Be looking kind of loose. Look at her. I don't like the eyes. I don't know why she's got those. She could have allergies. <coughs> but we'll have the vet come. But yeah, like, this is her. This is it. This is Penny, you guys. This is my new girl. She does like her she does like her neck scratched. I discovered that. She likes her neck scratched and she likes under here scratched, but when she says I'm done, I'm done, I listen to her. I think it's important to listen to your horse. So yeah, there you go. So that's it. We are headed up to edit so that we can get these videos up for you guys. Hopefully she can see the ponies. Can you see the ponies? Can the ponies see her? Oh gosh, I guess we have some work to do with you guys tomorrow. All right. That is it for us today. Thanks for coming with me and to help me buy my birthday present. Best birthday present ever. My birthday's in a month. This is my early birthday present. Sam's like, I want a present that expensive. Do you want a present that expensive? I just don't want another horse. No, no more horses. But, I mean, Sam could ride. Do you want to ride? No. No, I wouldn't put him on a regular horse. I'd want a gated horse for him too. All right, see you guys later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?